First we download all the files. You can find the links to the pages in the YouTube video commentary. You download EPSXE 1.8. You download the Shark Enhancement. You might need to install Visual C++ Redistributable to install the Shark Enhancement. You download Pete's OpenGL 2 PSX GPU version 2.9. You download PEOPS DSound 1.10b in the version SVN7. You download the newest BIOS for the PlayStation 1. And if you want to use an Xbox 360 controller, vibrations especially, you download this as well. Now we need to unpack EPSXE. Unpack the shark announcement into the same folder. And we need to unpack the plugins. First the graphics plugin into the graphics uh, into the plugin folder. And the sound plugin to the sound folder, the uh, plugins folder, and the BIOS into the BIOS folder. And you might need to install this to make the vibrations of the Xbox controller work. Now we run uh, the patch points CMD. And now you start EPSXE. First, we set up the BIOS, which you find in this folder. Then uh, you can set up the gamepad. You select DualShock controller. For the Xbox controller you select DX Joy 1 after installing the vibrations uh, thing. Big motor constant, small motor sign. And you can uh, select the right sound plugin. Select PIP Sound Audio Driver 1.10. You should leave it like this mostly. You can use this. But uh, I once tried 5.1 and it gave me audio gaps, so don't use that if you experience that, um, that trouble. And we set up the video plugin. We set it up like this. You use um, your desktop resolution, uh, then you copy your vertical resolution in here and you need to calculate your horizontal res resolution since you want to have the window in 4 to 3 aspect ratio so you take your vertical resolution divide it by 3 multiply it by 4 and you have your horizontal resolution set it in there use window size on full screen mode and you can set it up like this. This makes um, the picture less pixelated. This one I don't know what it changes. This one uh, is for filtering the 2D or the 3D textures. I uh, usually only filter the 3D textures. It basically um, makes them more smooth but less detailed. So they are not so very pixelated, but they don't have as much detail anymore. I leave this to zero, none. Uh, use FPS limit and frame skipping. Set it to 60. Set this up like this. And use the flicker box with one pixel. And that's it.
Now, if you want to run uh, your game, you need to uh, select Run CD-ROM or Run ISO and select the appropriate file or drive. That's it. Have fun.